Bro, Umar Johnson pissing me off. A couple of years ago, when them Negroes was harassing the power structure concerning Umar Johnson's credentials and psychology and education and all this, I'm trying to get everything revoked that he worked so hard for. I used my little channel here to speak up in defense of Umar Johnson. You no, know, when he was going through all that controversy, you know, I was still hoping that the brother would go ahead and be able to get his school set up. You know what I'm saying? I thought that was a very great uh, project that he set out to do, you know? And, you know, I understood he was taking donations and all that type of stuff, you know, like, obviously with different projects like that, you're going to need, like, some type of group funding for a project that immense, you know, but... You know, something that I kept hearing over the years, you know, people complaining about why it's taking so long for this school to get going and get up and running, right? It's been over, it's been over five years. I've heard some people say it's been nearly 10 years even. You know what I'm saying? Like you've been raising money for the school for a long time. But that wasn't the final straw for me. The thing that got me pissed off right now is the fact that literally I, I I was looking at a little snippet of Umar Johnson at the freaking casino freaking gambling you don't even know how to gamble but this dude he trying to gamble to make 1.2 million dollars so he can start the school you know different people are saying that it's the freaking school money that he's using and all that stuff now I don't know this for sure I don't know I don't have any way of proving solidly that he's using the money that was for the school for his gambling for his new little gambling endeavor that he's trying to get into and whatnot but bro that is not a good look man that is not a good look at all and then you getting on shows like Vlad TV and you getting on the you know what I mean Godcast with Lord Jamar and Godfrey and you going off cussing people out and calling your detractors all kinds of names and all type of stuff just for simply asking for information about the school like you going off like an atomic freaking bomb coming totally undone yelling at the screen Lord Jamar in the background like okay man chill <laughs> We just ask you some questions, man. Like, calm down. Um, oh. Who else is building? Jamar, don't discriminate. <laughs> Listen. Somebody built an institution from the grass. Right. Name somebody. You ain't got none of them. Name me I a mean, YouTuber doing what I'm doing. Any of them conscious dudes. Name one on my level. Name one building. You crazy. You know, you got people off trying to offer tips and advice and help and you you getting mad because i don't need your help and all that type of stuff you know what i'm saying repeating yourself and stuff i i don't need your help you know what i'm saying i, I got all the scholars i need you know what i'm saying big papa big papa i'm the most requested scholar in the whole world hidden colors popped off because i was in it okay it's all me i mean <laughs> It's like you making all these assertions about your masculinity and who you are as a man and all this type of stuff, right? But then like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're making yourself look like an unreliable source. Like you're making yourself look untrustworthy. When we see you at the freaking casino fixing the gamble to try to make $1.2 million, so that you can get the HVAC system repairs, so you can get the uh, all the other things that you talk about, that you study talk about, need to be repaired in your school building, man. And we, everybody is just looking at you sideways right now, man. Like I was really rooting for you, man. Like I, I was really trying to stick it out, and I was rooting for you. But like, why are you gambling, like, bro? What the? what is this and the thing is this okay like i'm about to be real as i don't know what okay there are a lot of people who use youtube as a way of like you know generating revenue and income for themselves you know i i do that too you know what i'm saying 
I have a monetized YouTube channel. I'm not active on here as much because, you know, work a full-time job, but I would like to get to a certain point where, you know, I can really turn my YouTube channel into a, a part-time business as well, too, so that I can, you know, I got a lot of things that I want to show people over the next few years, you know, th different things that I'm involved in, you know, trading the markets, you know, stocks, forex, uh, cryptocurrency, and all that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying, I'm been to a lot of different things these days, okay, but I do realize that YouTube can be a real great asset in, you know, propping yourself up business-wise and whatnot, you know what I'm saying, like, there are people on YouTube who are legit making real moves, making real business moves, you know, putting the work in, you know, making merchandise and, you know, making content that they're viewers are willing to subscribe to you know what i'm saying like even paid content and whatnot you know and it's like bro you just get on instagram live and you get on youtube and you just yell about how trifling people are and how you got all these detractors and how you trying to get the school built or done and repaired and all that stuff that's all you do on instagram and youtube man like and you just ask for donations that's like you just get on the internet and you ask for donations all dang day long you know what i'm saying like and then like i've seen videos of people where they send you ten dollars you like you sent me ten dollars i appreciate it should have been twenty dollars should have been fifty dollars but you sent me ten you know I mean, I get it. Y'all got more money to spend on Jordans and the cologne and fashion and all that bull crap. But you know, ten dollars though for for a school for the for the young men and the for the boys academy. You know, the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all only got ten dollars for that. But you know what I'm saying? I take it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, dude. Get out there and do some work with your hands and build something, man. People will support you. You know what I'm saying? And, of course, I know you're saying you're trying to build a school, but, like, do some other stuff to, like, build up the funds to get the school going, man. That's why we're seeing so many people out there calling him a Hotep hustler. Because, Umar Johnson, brother, you making... <laughs> making a bunch of irresponsible decisions and it doesn't look good like you seriously went to the casino to gamble and see if you could try your luck at making 1.2 billion dollars the thing is if you're not used to gambling like that you, you you admitted yourself in the video that you don't know how to gamble like that you know what I mean? you don't know how to gamble but you about to try to gamble you know what i'm saying like you have a you probably you have probably like a 95% chance of losing everything that you put in and so you gambling money that you got from God knows where I mean I want to say everybody is thinking that you got it from the school I don't know if that's true or not so I'm not gonna just directly put that statement out there but it doesn't look good man you know it, it doesn't look good and you, you taking this money from wherever you, whatever source you got it from and then you're trying to gamble to make some fast overnight money. Like, man, you don't sound like you're fit to be over this school project. There, I said it. You should have had like a board of investors and a board of different people to hold you accountable in what it is that you're doing. Like. This should have been like an organization, like an organized effort, man. Like not not just a bunch of people cash apping you money. You know? Man, I, I was pissed off when I saw that video, man. You know, like I said, I I literally used my channel a few years ago to, you know what I'm saying, to kind of you know stand up for Umar Johnson a little bit, you know what I'm saying? 
because, you know, I thought it was bull crap the way them Negroes was trying to get his credentials taken. Like, black people, you know, sometimes we can be a little reckless and tacky, but it's like still at the same time, man, you probably save yourself a whole lot of drama and trouble by not doing dumb stuff like this. I'm just saying, being disrespectful to people and telling them to run them donations and then going to the casino is not a good look. And a good look, fam. I'm gonna lie, you're right. Y'all can subscribe to this channel. You can unsubscribe. You can like this video or you can dislike it. Share and comment. With that, I'll say peace.